Hi there, it's me Sandy again, and I'm here with a perfume video. Um, I had tried a sample of a fragrance called Le Musque and Le Po by Pierre Guillaume, and I fell in love with it, and I ended up using some of my birthday money to buy a full bottle. So I'll just give you a really quick update on that, and I'll show you you know, how it came from Lucky Scent and all that, and what the full bottle looks like. Um, and then I got four samples with that for free that came with the purchase. And so I hand picked them and out of the four, there's one that's a total winner. And I literally can't stop thinking about the fragrance. So, um, so first let me show you this uh, Pierre Guillaume, Le Musque and Le Po. So it came in an outer, well, it came in a brown box, obviously in the mail. And then it came in like just a regular kind of a white plain Pierre Guillaume box. And then this is um, what's on the inside. And I think it's really, really pretty, like a really pale robin egg blue. And it opens this way. And it says, with our compliments. Well, thank you, Pierre. Um, it really wasn't complimentary though, because you know, I paid for it but uh, this is the bottle so on lucky scent they carry both the let me think here I think it's a 50 ml bottle and a hundred mil what did I end up getting I got the bigger bottle anyway because I knew it was a it was a sure thing for me um, does it say on here it does not um, that would have been on the other outer bottle. Um, oh, here we go. This is, oh my stars, I can't see. I can't see with my glasses or without them, you know what I mean? Uh, that's that whole, you know, getting older business. Um, so this is a clean, very warm white musk. Um, it's a skin scent, as in smells like clean, warm skin. It's so, so lovely. I'm not gonna say it's the most unique thing. It's not gonna rock anyone's world, probably. Um, there are a lot of like lovely clean musk oil type fragrances that are in the same vein. But this one just has something. You know how that can be. Um, and it's that something that makes it worth a full bottle purchase when you find something that you feel that way about. Uh, longevity on it is not as good as I would like and I knew that going into it from my sample. Um, I'll spray, I'm not a heavy sprayer normally, so I'll do like uh, small of my back, back of my neck, wrist, and then usually just touch my wrist to my neck rather than spraying here. Um, and it lasts me, um, I don't know, maybe three to four hours and then it will carry on for several more hours, but it's definitely when you got to put your nose to skin on. Um, but it's just a beautiful, clean, warm, unisex, 100% unisex. It almost reminds me a little bit of the smell of Chi hair fragrances, um, or not hair fragrances, hair products, um, like the Chi silk infusion I think it's called that like serum y silicone -y serum that you put in your hair that sort of clean unisex cologne vibe this is similar to that so um, if you like that smell of chi hair products you would probably like this um, just because it's got a same um, vibe going on so that's all I wanted to say I wanted to say how much I'm enjoying this bottle already and um, that it was, you know, a sample gone well. So a sample turned into a full, bo full bottle. So now the four samples that I handpicked and selected to get were Francesca Bianchi, Angel's Dust. I did not care for this one. Um, I'll definitely give it another chance sometime when I'm going to bed, um, but it smelled very vintage to me and not in a good way. And I'm not a big fan of vintagey fragrances anyway. Um, it, just, it just wasn't my jam. So that's Angel's Dust. 
Zoologist Koala. So I really thought that I would like this one. It's fine, but that's all, you know. Uh, it's it's, um, it's kind of clean, it's green. It's nice. Um, it's not as eucalyptus-y as I was hoping. I mean, you can definitely smell eucalyptus, but I was wanting to get punched in the face by eucalyptus. Um, but this is a nice, very fresh, very wearable, clean scent. It's only the second zoologist that I've smelled, the other one being chipmunk, and I love chipmunk. I would love to have a bottle, or at least the little travel spray bottle. So that one was fine. Um, next was Diptyque Fleur de Peau. Now I had actually worn this before, just like a spray on my wrist that I had gotten at a store. And I knew that this was similar to, or you know, gets compared a lot to Glossier U, which is one that I have. And um, I prefer this to Glossier U. Uh, yeah, I do agree that they're quite similar. They don't smell the same. Glossier U to me is a little younger smelling and it's a little sweet and reminds me a little bit and I read this somewhere and then I couldn't get it out of my head so it kind of ruined Glossier U for me but it reminds me a little bit of the smell of red Swedish fish candy. Um, I'm talking about Glossier U. The Fleur de Peau by Diptyque does not go there. Um, so it's almost like the more serious version of Glossier U. Um, I really do like it but not enough to buy a full bottle, not for me. And I'm really glad I tried it because I almost blind bought a full bottle because I was just 100% sure that I was remembering that I really liked it. And I do, but not that much. Okay, now for the, the winner here. So this one is by Molten Brown. I don't know why I'm really showing these to you because you probably can't really see them. Molten Brown and it's Milk Musk. Yes, not Milky Musk, Milk Musk, and it is the Eau de Toilette. Oh, wow. So when I got my samples, I, of course, sniffed them all, and I, you know, did a quick sniff of this one, and I thought, oh, I don't think I'm going to like that one. It's not what I expected. And then I set it aside for a few days. So then I ended up wearing it, and I've actually gotten a couple wearings out of this little sample. Again, I'm not a big heavy sprayer. Um, but you know, you can really get quite a bit out of these if you kind of drizzle them on your skin and you know, let, let the liquid run. Um, this is beautiful. So I think what I didn't really like about it at first was I wasn't expecting it to smell like amaretto or a little bit like almond cherry. And I do get that right at the very beginning. Um, people do pick up like a fruity note. It has pear in it and um, forget what other fruit, maybe black currant I don't remember but it has two fruits neither of which are cherry um, listed at the top and I think it's that fruitiness that I'm getting but then there's like this very almondy vibe going through the whole fragrance and so it's like amaretto cherry almond like almond um, what's that called extract you know that you bake with um, so I get a hint of that at the beginning and I actually really do like it and then this just becomes the most beautiful, snuggly, creamy, like heavy whipping cream, creamy, milky, almond and Play-Doh-y vanilla skin scent of yumminess. You get this really good bubble. Um, like I said, I've got a fair amount of my vial left and I had like a full blown bubble going on. Um, and it, my husband liked it and that's always a win. Um, and it's just really, really nice. The small size for 50 mils can be had for um, $80 um, or maybe less if you can get a, a deal. This is definitely has sprung to the very top of my want list. So Molten Brown Musky Musk, oh my gosh. Molten Brown Milky, Molten Brown Milk Musk. Um, super creamy, almondy, slightly sweet, slightly fruity, but mostly just creamy, Play-Doh vanilla almond 
wonderfulness, very comforting, very cocooning. Um, I can't speak to the Eau de Parfum, haven't tried it. Um, frankly, have no need. This one's that good to me. This is like 10 out of 10 material for me. So um, I hope you find this helpful. Um, if you liked my video, if you found anything useful in it, um, go ahead and hit the like button. That helps me out. And um, subscribe if you haven't yet. I would love to have comments from you. I've had a few more comments lately from some subscribers and I'm really thankful. I love that. I love the interaction. That's why I'm doing this. I'm not trying to become famous. I'm not trying to become an influencer. I simply don't have people in my everyday life that are super into perfume. So I, I started doing this as a way to just talk, talk, talk about it. And then now that I'm getting some comments, I'm loving that and it's very appreciated. So um, that's all I have to say. I hope you have a great day and take care. We'll see you next time, bye.